Great Salt Lake. Covering 1,700 square miles, it's the largest American lake west of the Mississippi and the biggest saltwater lake in the Western Hemisphere. What makes Great Salt Lake so unique is that its water is up to five times saltier than the ocean, too salty to support fish and most other aquatic life. The lake is considered a terminal lake, which means there's no outlet. The small amounts of salt in the rivers and streams that flow into it build up over time. With nowhere for the water in the lake to go, it evaporates in the hot Utah sun, leaving vast deposits of salt behind. In some places, the water is so salty that people can float, just like they do in the Dead Sea, except that they're here in the middle of the Utah desert. Evaporation also keeps the lake shallow. It's possible to wade a quarter of a mile out into water and still only be up to your knees. But even with all this salt, wildlife thrives on the lake shores, especially here on Antelope Island. Despite the name, the island is actually a home for bison. Herders brought 12 bison to Antelope Island in 1897. Today, it's home to a 550-strong herd. Parts of the Great Salt Lake may remain wild, but more and more, humans are leaving their mark on this water body. Brine ponds established at the lake's edge capture a host of minerals for industrial use. But environmentalists fear that changes like this are inflicting long-term damage on Great Salt Lake.